Hello everybody in Facebook and in YouTube. So it, it has been a crazy few days since I've been back from the Kingdom of Apples. That's why I look so discombobulated here. However, I am in serious Cinderella mode. So first things first, a small unboxing. And I'm sorry if I just start hiccuping because I was ready to go and then the hiccups decided that was the Murphy's Law time. So this is what we're unboxing first and then I'm going to show you guys some of the souvenirs that I picked up while I was in Apples. Okay, this is difficult. So I know, I actually know what this one is. And I'm really excited to open it though and, and see it in person. So, here we go. Well, maybe here we go. Okay. <laughs> Whew. As soon as I can outbrain this box, we will see what is inside. sure that I shouldn't be cutting through cardboard but it's proving to be difficult so I don't care uh, let's see I got so many things and I'm really excited to I've send them off to everybody in the monthly subscription boxes that I do for my patreon patrons and everybody's postcards went out uh, well they technically I, Put them in the mail less. You know, I swear I have more trouble doing this than should it be reasonably expected. There we go. So, everybody's postcards. If you're a current Patreon, at the time of yesterday when I put them in the mailbox, you should be expecting a postcard. Okay, here we go. Lots of bubble wrap and tissue paper. Ooh. And then, oh, wait, these aren't stuffed, are they? These are stuffed. Okay, this is them. The tissue papers are them. Ooh, this is going to be so cool. Okay, I actually don't really need to open all of them at this time. But very delicate because, and I hope they didn't break in transit. They didn't. So this is... Uh, Oop, this is an itty bitty lovebird egg that a friend of mine sent to me and these are going to go up in my Etsy shop. They are super cute. I'm really excited about that. Oh, we have quite a lot of there are quite a lot of them here too. Here they are. Little lovebird eggs. Look how tiny it is. It's wee. So these are really cute, and they're going to go a bit, uh, here as soon as I get a chance <laughs> to up in my Etsy shop. Hopefully, I'll have them up in the next couple of days for purchase. So that's pretty cool. Boy, I have a lot of them, too. I'm really excited. These were just a friend of mine who kindly sent me these upon request and mm, if you want to try to make an omelet out of these you are welcome to do so it's probably going to be pretty gross but I suppose that it can't taste any worse than my own cooking so now I am going to let's see I don't want these guys to get mixed up with everything else, so... Okay, stuffing will go back into the box. Box will go into the pile of boxes. Yes, that's right. You are now witnessing live my craft and art room. Where I work and make all the magical things that I give to you guys. So... I'm just going to open this last one and put it in its little box and get this out of the way. So now I am going to look at some of the items that I got while I was out in the Kingdom of Apples. 
and share with you guys some of the souvenirs that are going to be going into the next round of boxes and then just some of the things that I got for myself I like I like uh, miniature stuff because I have I have castles and other such things instead of dollhouses and I fill them with miniature things so this is a miniature butter churner <laughs> I love this little guy miniature butter churner and that one's just for me to go into one of my ooh, to go into one of my castles and this here is not for a subscription box it's for my Etsy store so not not for me but for me sort of uh, these are brand new um, Yay! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! Everything's just falling all over the place. Ah! Brand new potion bottles is what they are. I'm so sorry. Wow! Did not mean to have that happen. Okay, let's get that guy there. Okay, so here's here's the potion bottles. This one is glass with a glass stopper, and I just really liked the. It's got a nice good hole for stuff and it was just a pretty little crystal thing at an antique store and then this one was the same thing it's a got a cool green dove on top and I just thought that the I thought that that was quite nice so I'm pretty sure this is a pretty sure this is an antique Avon bottle this one here with the green dove so this one also has a nice wide opening not very much scent so it'll only need a little bit of cleaning before I list it in the shop and then I will custom make potions and put them into these bottles when you buy the bottle so though that's kind of cool and fun and those ones actually should probably go over here because they're meant to be in this room and now on to this one this all these bags bags of so this is for me it's actually I I knew that these little eggs were coming so I bought this tiny little bird display so that when I do my photography for listing them in my Etsy store they have a cute little bird nest that they go in oh isn't that adorable see <laughs> maybe I should just save one and paint it for myself that would be pretty cute okay No. Mm, not that. This is one more bottle for my Etsy store. And this one was pretty cool. It's purple and beautiful and lacy and has a cork so I got this one that was a pretty sweet deal I love this Boop! off comes the cork this one will hold quite a lot of potion that, that is going to be a thing and now let's see. what else do I have here ah yes okay this also we're getting we're, we're getting this also is another thing that I got so this is, I don't know what you call, let's see what it says on the tag, how they would call this. It says, hand spun blown glass punch bowl. So a punch, it's a punch bowl. Here it is. I'll show it to you guys on YouTube. Ooh. Okay. So I'm trying to take the tag off here because it's tangling all over the place. And then it actually came with these wee itty bitty, these tiny little cups that are the same thing, these glass hand blown cups. Doop, 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 doop. And they are meant to hang here like that. Isn't that fun? So that will go into one of my castles. And all of these were super good deals because I got them all at antique stores with a daily discount. Because so, I like to be a bargain shopper. Oh, 
And this one is not a, a punch bowl cup. This is an itty bitty, a wee little goblet. That thing is super cute, huh? Wee little goblet. <laughs> Boop. Okay, so that guy can, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I have so many things on my desk that are undone. Uh, let's see here. Ah, yes. Okay. This is another antique bottle. And this one is kind of got this lavender hue to it. So, let's see. The tag says that it's a... Oh, with big words. A vintage dental glycothymaline bottle. I guess we know that because it's got the words written here on it. And it kind of has a coloration to it, a purple coloration to it, which, as I understand, is when that when there's that and this raised uh, ra raised writing instead of printed writing on it, that it's worth a little bit more. But this is meant to be a potion bottle for Yawn Etsy store. So I guess that makes one, two, three, four, and then this one, which I also got uh, not on while I was away. Uh, but here, closer to home, but it is a pretty little bottle that I had to make a cork for and got that one also fit. So I have lots of new potion bottles, and that's exciting. And now, <clears throat> in this bag, we shall get on to the subscription box things. So for the Royal subscription box, uh, it includes a bag of some kind of new tea, and so... Uh, the March tea was leprechaun tea, how very fitting, right? And the April tea is going to be this organic sencha green tea. I'll show it to you here. Doo -doo -doo. And this I got at the Wadsworth Athenium where I saw Monet, Van Gogh, Renoir, a whole bunch of really cool things. And it is also where I got to see the... Uh, the the room like the the mystery room of curiosities so i'm gonna do a secret tour of that and also uh, the museum also at the old state house the museum of curiosities so there was actually a lot of stuff to see in these two rooms that was really quite cool and special and so i'm really excited to to do put together those videos and if you haven't seen what I've got so far I've got a couple of geocaches up that I did from my castle tours uh, while I was out and I still have the next one that I'm going to be doing is the Mohegan Mohegan Hill which is where Native American fairies are said to live under the hill and then we went in search of Moshup's footprint and Moshup is a Native American giant and he's supposed to be said uh, said to be married to Granny Squanet and Granny Squanet is very demure in size and Moshe the Giant is huge in size. Giant. And the lore is that their size difference is what is a represent a representative of balance. So well also while I was at the museum since at Wadsworth Athenium, since it was, you know, a a museum with tons of paintings. I got itty bitty little paint kits. I figured that was quite appropriate to go into the boxes for everybody. Little bitty paint kits uh, since, you know, well, it's a museum with a lot of paintings. And then moving on from there, because that's, that's what I have from there. So moving on from there, one of the other places that I visited was the Dr. Seuss Museum. And this place was amazing oh the places you'll go and the things you'll see yes it was definitely amazing so from there I got bookmarks I got notepads notepads bookmarks and I got a whole selection of cool pencils to go with your notepads for writing. Here are the cool pencils. And so these will be going into the uh, subscription boxes at the $15 level and the $20 level. Ooh. 
I got, ooh, this one might be hard to see because let me, let me unwrap this really fast. So this is an itty bitty Dr. Seuss washi tape and I am a fan. If you have received any snail mail from me, you know that I absolutely love using washi tape to decorate all of my letters and postcards and boxes and everything. So I, I got all these little itty bitty rolls of washi tape and so this one is thing one and thing two. <laughs> That's what this one is. So these, they were just so cute because they're so, ay, 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 tiny. Sorry if I hurt anybody's ears. Okay, and I got some, I got some cool pens. This one, this pen came with a book on it that you can actually write in. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. And then I got some highlighter pens. These were really cute too. Everything is small. I love that. So I got these are itty bitty highlighter pens. And yes, so much tape indeed. Let's see. I don't know if I showed this to you guys over here. So there you are. Green eggs and ham. I will not eat them on a boat. I will not eat them with a goat. I do not like green eggs and ham. I will not eat them, Sam I am. So these are more of the... And then I got this also. So these are little uh, kind of stick it note markers that, uh, that I can use to label all of the different things. So that's fun and exciting. And... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Whew. A lot of things in this bag. So. I got this. I just got one because I had to have a little souvenir for myself. So this is my thing one. The, my thing one button. And then this is an acorn from the Dr. Seuss Museum that I got from just from picking it up off the ground. I tried so hard to find a Dr. Seuss geocache while I was out there. I even was talking about it in a live video. Ah yes, pencil sharpeners, pencils, pencil sharpeners, notepads. So that's another thing there. Uh, and I went back to find it a second time. I took hours searching for it and it just was not there which made me incredibly sad uh so alas that was not a thing that happened at the dr seuss museum but i tried really really hard i did find some other geocaches though and they uh the next one that's going to be coming up was paired with mohegan hill so that it was one that we found while we were out there so that that is pretty much it my my tea, all my Dr. Seuss stuff, my Wadsworth Athenium, yes, professional miniature paint palettes for all of you guys out there. And um, again, these are some of the swag that's going to be coming to you in this month's uh, subscription boxes for my Patreon patrons. So thanks for sharing my unboxing with me, you guys. I've, I've been wanting to do this for a minute before I started boxing it all up to send it away only to be seen by its recipients so i will bid you all good afternoon and i do i now have boxes to pack